So guys, in the last class, we designed, you know, our pickup and destination bars, which is what we have here. So in this class, we are going to be designing our my location button and favorite places. So to do that, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this. Minimize this. Okay. And also minimize this. All right. So here I'm going to add a new relative layout. Of course, this we need some attributes, right? Layout height. I want to use 35 dp. So for you guys to take note, we are designing our, you know, current location button. All right. So we have Android or layout width. Layout width will be equal to 35 dp as well okay so we need to make it clickable if that's the case that means that we need to add an id for it so let's call it my location you know be around this place so it's more like we need it to be centered and aligned to the right so if that's the case you need to set our layout gravity to be center and right okay we need to set the background so that we can be seeing it the white so this is our relative layout so now we need to add some margin to the right it should be 16 dp okay so here we are all right so now we need some image we need to put an image inside of it you know our location image so um i've actually added the icon that i used to the resource for this class so you guys could download it and add yours as well okay so i have it on my desktop so i'll just go ahead and add it to my meet map folder so this is the one I used, Android, for NDP, so for XHDP, for SSHDP. And last one so now we are done we now need to add an image an image view that will take up an icon Want to wrap content layout width and to wrap content as well. Let's add a tint. Our tint will be our ascent color. Uber ascent color. Okay, we need some padding 5 dp, and of course, let's reference the image. SRC, which is equal to at meet map slash I see my location block 48 dp. So, guys, here we go. All right, so now that I've added that, the next thing we want to do is to add our favorite places button. Okay, so let's define button. Because this we need um, an ID favorite places button layout height
200 dB for our width. We call this my favorite places. Mm -hmm. It's hanging over here. So let's set our layer gravity. Our layer gravity should be center and bottom. Okay. So if that's the case, we we'll want to add some margin to the bottom. We want to add 30 dB mm -hmm. to lift it up a little bit. So we don't want um, the text to all be capital letter, right? So we're, we're just going to say test all caps and set that to false. Okay. So we're going to set some padding. So we, we need to, you know, bring in the favorite icon that we have here, right? So like I said before, everything that you actually need, I've already added in the resources, but I have mine on my desktop. So, so I'm going to go into my resources. I'm going to look for the MDPI and copy this, all right? I want to copy this and add it to um to my drawable folder, okay? Just the very small one, okay? So I'll paste it here. And I'll grab a reference of it as our drawable left. So say drawable left at drawable slash I see action fave white okay so <laughs> you guys could see um it's actually showing here all right so let's continue let's add some padding to our button all right so i want to add some padding left and we need some padding to the right as well we need some padding to the right as well. Set this to, let's say 12 dp. So 12 dp. And we need some padding to the bottom. We set this to, let's set this to 8 dp. And to the top, set it to 8 dp as well. Okay, so we need to elevate this a little bit. So let's add some elevation to dp, and we want some shadow. So I can just say translate translation z and add to dp, yeah, so that to add this lovely shadow here so guys we'll add around edges to the button you guys remember that we did something similar when we are designing our login and registration page so we are just going to do that let's say background and set it to our drawable dot uber around the button this is an xml file that we created earlier on so you guys remember how we achieved this, right? So this is the file that we are calling. This drawable, this drawable we created it earlier on, you know, when we are designing our login and registration page. So this XML is what is actually giving this button the round edges and, and as well the 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 accent color that it has, the orange accent. So the next thing we need to do is to make our text color to be white. So we're gonna say and under test color equal to add color slash uber white bam so we are done with that so guys another thing we want to do is we want to add some soft edges to our frame layout and our relative layout so to do that we need to create a shape all right and for me to do that we now need to add a new xml file and call it rounded okay in that way it will we'll be able to implement a shape that will help us achieve the round edges. So new item. 
XML round edges let's call it round edges so let's call it round edges and we'll add this so how to do this is actually very simple and straightforward okay so first of all we we'll say shape and of course we're gonna bring in our namespace XML namespace which will be an Android schemas dot android dot com slash apk slash rest slash android okay so you guys should ensure that you, you spell this appropriately if not um everything won't work accordingly and you probably might be wondering why it's not working for you so inside of the shape we need to define a new solid okay and we'll add width to it width we want it to be 1 dp and we define a color as well so we just have to add something you know that looks like ash so we're going to say android color equal to hash c e c e c e all right this is a shade of ash so the next thing we want to do is to define our corners so we say corners inside the corner we're gonna have android bottom right radius okay so you guys ensure that you sell, you spell your radius appropriately if not you will be having issues okay and you probably might not know why it's not working for you 3dp and android dot bottom 3dp android radius 3dp Android radios 3dp okay correct this so guys that's all we need to do in this place so let's save this so now we head back into our design layout so for the relative layout Instead of having the background to be a color, we're gonna set rounded edges to be the 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 background. Okay, so we're gonna say at drawable slash rounded edges. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see it has changed here, but I think we ha there is a mistake somewhere, right? Okay, so you guys could see it here, right? But the background is not white, so I think something is wrong with our round edges. Okay, this was supposed to be stroke. Okay, we're supposed to have solid. That's as the color. Android dot color. And this was supposed to be white. All right. This should take care of that. So let's save. Uh huh. So now we are here. So the last thing we need to do is we need to apply these round edges to our frame layout as well. Okay. So let's open this up. Our frame layout. Instead of having background to just be white, we'll assign our round edges to be the background. Drawable slash round edges. Boom. So guys, this is it. So to confirm everything that we've done so far, we need to run it and ensure that everything checks out very well, okay? So let's run this. Okay, so it seems there is an error. Of course, we know what caused that. Bottom left radius in the spiraling. So we're supposed to have bottom. Okay, so now we are done with that. Let's run it again. Okay, there's another error. Okay, so we got some error. So when you, whenever you come across this kind of error, 
what to do is to clean your project okay clean your project so let's go ahead and clean ours okay so now we can now run our app so once you actually cleaned your project actually building the your app will actually take some time it will actually be longer than usual because it needs to you know generate some binaries you know from your packages you need to compile the whole project from ground up again right so that's why it's taking a little bit of time but here we go bam okay so guys this is our beauty all right so we've successfully designed this and everything seems to be working just the way we want it all right okay So guys, hope you really enjoyed the class and I thank you for being here. If you've come so far, I encourage you to keep pushing hard, all right? We're going to get to the end of this together, all right? So see you in the next session and of course in the next class.